Just Prince TV here. And listen, Mace, I respect you, man. You know, I respect that you're going to have an opinion. That's cool. But, brother, let's keep it real. There's a reason why a lot of people was going at you. Okay? You take Nas off your, off your top five list of all time, and you replaced him with Lil Wayne. Really? Lil Wayne better than Nas. In what world? Let me drop some jewels on you, Mace. As a guy from New York, you should know better. Because we both from New York. And we know better. Nas, when he came into the game, people automatically know that he was going to be an all-time great. Because he was something different out the gate. All right? He had perfected flows of Cool G Rap and Rakim in one. And he had his own little sprinkled touch of magic. That can't be duplicated. There's only one Nas. There would never be another Nas. But there'll be another Lil Wayne. There'll be another coked out rapper. Another mumble rapper. Lil Wayne was a mumble rapper when he first got into the game. Okay? He had a little zone in the 2000s due to mixtapes and the SPAC DVD era when he became a little bit good. But Nas, as you can see right now, will still run circles around Lil Wayne. Nas will run circles around... Damn near your favorite rapper from this generation. Because Nas is relevant in any era of a hip-hop. Because that's how impactful he is. Name one rapper Nas ain't influenced. All right? He ain't even influenced you, Mace. He influenced you. So for you to say, go out there and say some dumb shit like that, I think part of it has to do with clout. All right? It's to say something different. Because a lot of guys like going about trying to disrespect Nas. As if he ain't one of the greatest to ever do it. As if he ain't a guy that watches your favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper's rapper is Nas. Miss me with that. Nas got classics. Lil Wayne got debatable classics. All right? Now, I ain't taking nothing away from Lil Wayne. There was a zone that he had that was a little bit hot. He had some good beats, you know? But lyric-wise, he was never on Nas's level. He don't get the creativity of a Nas. Where's Lil Wayne right now? You know why Lil Wayne is just another rapper on a on a billboard? Another rapper that you talked about loosely and you just move on to the next guy? Because he was a trendy rapper. That was it. Nas was a rapper that's relevant for any time. Because Nas is the essence of hip-hop. Period. So... I got to strongly disagree with you, Mace. And this is why a lot of people come at you because they know real hip-hop when they see it and they know Nas is real hip-hop. All right? When Lil Wayne was getting overrated, they were saying he better than Jay-Z. He better than 50 Cent. He wasn't even better than 50 Cent, to be realistic. But they wanted to put that image out there because he had a lot of hype behind him. You know? Lil Wayne was highly overrated even when he was hot. All right? Still ain't better than Nas. Still Matic better than Lil Wayne's whole career. That's just one album. All right? You ain't got it. You ain't got the answers, Lil Wayne. You're a great artist. You know? I like your charisma. But you sold records not really for your music. You sold records because of your persona, your image, everything around you. Okay? This is why I say selling records doesn't mean you're the greatest artist of all time. He sold a lot of records because Little Wheezy, baby, you know, he had that whole attraction off music, okay? Musically, he was not that dude. But when it comes to affluence and tracking your attention, yeah, that's his bread and butter. That's where he got it from. But that's kind of disrespectful in a way. You know, that's like saying Lil Wayne is better than a, a, a Biggie or an, a, a Jay-Z or a Nas or a Tupac. He ain't on those dudes' level, man. He's a solid artist, but he ain't on them dudes' level. He never was, you know? He just a guy that was hot for a good phase, you know? He had the little mixtape thing, but 50 Cent was doing the mixtapes before Lil Wayne. 50 Cent really kicked off that whole mixtape era. That whole 2000s really belonged to 50 Cent. You know, the G-Unit had the whole thing on Spash. He was number one. Everybody was clout chasing and dissing 50 Cent because they wanted to be on his job, you know? And who 50 Cent was going at 
he was going at the after the Nas's, the Jay Z's, because he know those was the big boys. But he know he couldn't mess with Nas on the mic. That's why he never really made a big diss song against Nas, because he couldn't handle dissing Nas. Nobody really can. Nas is the first dude you want to challenge him. He say challenge him with signs because he gave you that ether. Nobody even know what ether was until Nas put it on your brain, make you use it in everyday language. The brother is that good when it comes to this hip hop shit. Period. Nas is the greatest rapper of all time. And Lil Wayne, you ain't got the answers. I'm done. Just Prince TV out.